today we are going to be working on leak code number 323 number of connected components in an undirected graph so I thought it was important to put this problem up because there's a lot of other problems that I have that really implement this basic pattern and I also want to show that once you know this pattern and you have it in the back of your pocket how you can solve multiple other questions very quickly by just applying that same uh, pattern. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at this. We have given n nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and a list of undirected edges. Each edge is a pair of nodes. Write a function to find the number of connected components in an undirected graph. So here, example 1, we get uh, n equals 5. And we have our edges, which is 0 and 1, 1 and 2, and 3 and 4. So we have an edge from 0 to 1, uh, 1 and 2. And then we have an edge here from 3 to 4. So there's two components um, to this graph. Example 2, we have 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and 3 to 4. So there's only one component. OK, so the way to look at this is you just want to traverse this. You want to first take these edges, the inputs that you have, build an adjacency list and then just traverse the graph and every time you do a traversal you just increment the number of regions okay so let's get into it so first thing what we'll do is build the adjacency list and that'll take in n as the length and the number of edges okay and then what we'll do is we'll create our adjacency list and we'll just make it an array length n and uh, we want to just fill every element of that array with its own new array that's mapped to a particular place in memory okay and now we're just going to iterate over our edges and then we're just going to fill in our uh, adjacency list first thing we're going to do is pull out our our edges so I'm going to pull out our source and our destination okay all we're doing here is we're just pulling out each each array each inner array here and we're setting the zeroth index to the source and the first index to the destination so this is the source and this is the destination and we're just going to map that to our adjacency list do this on the other side we'll just mirror this because this is an undirected graph now if this was a directed graph we would only just do one of these we wouldn't we wouldn't mirror it okay we will now go ahead and return our adjacency list and now we want to go ahead and build our traversing we can do depth first search or we can do breadth first search either, either one is fine uh, I'm going to do breadth first search in, uh, instead of depth first search, but you can use either. So we'll do BFS. This is going to take our node. That's where we're going to start from. It's going to take our adjacency list. That's our graph. And it's going to take a visited object. That's going to basically work as a memo that's going to keep track of the nodes that we've that we visited so we don't re, uh, repeatedly repeatedly visit nodes that we've already been to okay so now what we want to do for breadth first search we always want to use a queue we want to use a queue data structure i'm going to use an array here to to make my queue and we want to set it to the node Okay, and now what we are going to do is we're going to add this node to visit it. And now we're going to traverse through our queue. Okay, what we want to do now is, is shift off the first element in the queue. So let cur node and we'll go ahead and have that 
shift off from the queue. And now we are going to traverse through all of its neighbors. Okay, now we want to check if it's visited. If it's not visited, so if visited of neighbor is not there, then we're going to go ahead and add this neighbor to our visited memo. And then we're going to push in that neighbor into the queue. Okay, All we're doing here is traversing. We're not returning anything. We're just traversing through, through the graph, through the adjacency list, from the input node, from the vertex that we want to start at. And we want to see if we start at zero and we traverse this breadth first search or depth first search, do we traverse the entire graph or part of the graph? When we go to the next node here, do, wh how far do we traverse? And every time we have to call breadth first search starting from a particular node, we can tell that if they're connected or not. That's the basic idea behind this, behind this question. So here what I'm going to do is go ahead and build my adjacency list. And we'll just toss in the inputs. We're going to go ahead and create our visited array. Uh, I like to just use an object, but you can use an array if you like. Okay, and then we want to have the number of connected components. So I'll say num components. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to traverse through our adjacency list. So we'll do for let vertex equals zero. Vertex is less than adjacency list dot length. Vertex plus plus. And now we want to check, have we been to this vertex before? So we'll go ahead and check our memo. So if it's false, then we're going to go ahead and increment our num components. And then we'll traverse breadth first search through our adjacency list. And then what we want to do at the end is just go ahead and return our components. And that is it. And I want to just just let you guys know that this template, just building the list, traversing, and then having a main function is very powerful. Because as you can see from the question number of islands, number of provinces, there's so many questions that build off of this basic pattern. And once you know this pattern, and you know, OK, this is a question that's asking for regions. How many regions do I have in this graph? You can just pull this pattern and really solve these questions very, very quickly. OK, let's just go ahead and run this, make sure it works. And we're good. So I hope you like this. Uh, if, if you want, check out my other videos that work off of this pattern. See if you can solve those questions on leak code. And if you have trouble, go ahead and check out the video for the solution. Uh, it's number of islands, number of provinces. There's a few other ones on there. Um, and yeah, hope you liked it, and I'll see you on the next one.